Welcome back, everyone. We are in the heart of one of the mountains. And we're trying to... Trying to find stuff. Fuck, I pushed circle again, when really I wanted to push the mill button. Whoa, this thing has 12 stories? Bloody hell. So, what's in my notebook? Data points. Entangled waveforms. Code expert. The protocols. Oh, wait, I can play it. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption. Black court stuff. Way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So you coded something without a back door. Tisk tisk. Of course, it was per his request, I think. I think I've got it working. There. Now. Say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Oh, that's uh, Derval's recording. Poor little Derval. All good things? To all staff, I regret to inform you that our worst fears have been realised. The Wichita salient has collapsed, and our position will be overrun in less than 24 hours. That doesn't sound good. As I'm sure you understand, exfiltration transport is not available. If you wish to abandon the facility and try your luck on foot, you may do so. Lock 2 will unseal at 2100 hours and remain unsealed for 15 minutes. Gold speed. For those of us who'd rather not die on our feet, there will be a gathering in the community room at 2200 hours, and Nurse Chana will make other means available. I want to underscore how proud I am of each and every person who served at this post. It is important to bear in mind that our sacrifices were not in vain. I hope that makes this a little easier. For months now, I've been signing off messages as Director Evans, but I suppose we can dispense with such formalities now. Respectfully, Ellen. Sounds like the end of the world. What if it was? Bam, bam, bam. I am so sick of these robot battle hollows. How many of these things can you watch before you realize that every single episode is exactly the same? You show up on the battlefield, you watch a bunch of thrasher bots tear each other up, you choose which corp you're going to root for. Explosions, 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 and then it's over. Am I the idiot? Everybody else seems to love this stuff. <laughs> oh, man. When it was announced at last year's Undertow Hollow Fest that notorious schlock provo provocateur Lloyd Stroud was wrapped post-production on an immersive historical drama about the notorious Naysay Doom cult. The news was met with, well, let's be kind and say, trepidation. Stroud has shown himself to be a talented, if needlessly edgy, craftsman of shocking interactive hollow pulp. But Naysay wasn't some tentacled monster or science fantasy trope. It was an actual real-world atrocity, barely two decades in the archive. And while some critics, myself included, wondered if the Hollow would turn out to be Stroud's long-rumoured 
turn to more respectable fare, most predicted disaster. The first hour would make you think that the cult's greatest crime was the tortured diction of Harriet Choi's overwrought monologues. <laughs> oh, okay. The special orders. All personnel currently assigned to Company E, 5th Battalion, 3rd Civilian Guard Brigade, Aurora Zone. Report to Verti Carrier Bay Onyx at 0500 hours and board assigned Vert. Departure at 0530. Arrive in Baira, Mozambique at approximately 0 hours local time. Lodging assignments and duty schedules to be arrived to be received upon landing and intake. Assist FADM personnel and Mozambican civilians battalion in A construction of defensive obstacles along the Channel Coast and B ballistic perimeter shielding around the Aeroporto International de Barrier. I'm probably butchering that like mad. Upon completion of construction duties, participate in combat and base defense training operations in anticipation of enemy contact. <laughs> as always, comport yourself so as to be a credit to your unit, your country, the goals of operation, enduring victory, and yourself. Interesting. Okay, I want to get something off my chest right now because this needs to be said to all the Jesse fans and to the entire Romantic Fortunes fan community. Jessica Sterling should not win Romantic Fortunes. <laughs> this is, like, so obvious to anyone who actually pays attention. <laughs> I used to be like you guys. Last season, I wanted Jessica to win. But as of episode 301... She has gone too far. Were you people even watching when she rejected Lewis, the sweetest human being on the planet? He stood by her through everything. The Alaska Acquisition, that time the Harrier bots malfunctioned mid-battle. The only reason Jessica has had any success is because Lewis had her back. <laughs> he loves her. <laughs> and she doesn't even care. This is why I'm throwing my support behind Vernon. <laughs> oh, damn. The Scoop 28 Mister. Some dude on the tormented boards is claiming to be Vast Silva. Laughs. No, dude, no. They caught versus. 20 years ago? Right, what's he doing? Come see, can't communion. He's got a pretty flash skin, but why would Vast Silva be hanging out on a tormented board? Rogue AIs dig horror hollows, duh. Laughs. I come to regulate Earth's climate and complain about fifth installment. More laughs. Good god, I hope. I hope the youth of today doesn't talk like that. It is just so cringy. It's making me cringe. Congratulations, Gorilla Games, you made me cringe. I hate you so much for it. Okay, where are we going next now that we've read through nearly all of those? Statue of one, anyway. Holy snap! And they honored it. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over twenty-five thousand human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Feral Focus. 
to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So <laughs> they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Well, we're learning how humanity died, babes. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Although, I wish the camera angle would be just a tad better. And I wish Aloy wouldn't just randomly hop up on uh, counters and such. this place what were they doing here it was a corporation a group of people not unlike a tribe and they made machines yeah go on i've uploaded some data files to your focus they'll help you understand oh great lord um absolutely brilliant Definition, corporation. An association of individuals created under authority of law, having existence, powers, and liabilities distinct from those of its members. In a business sense, a corporation is usually owned by shareholders through the sale or distribution of stock. Who profits from such ownership vote to vote at design times for its governance and designate executives who run its affairs. Most corporations engage in one or more industries to produce goods or offer services for profit, and may in turn own other corporations, companies, or property as holdings. Let me read the reception log. Uh, July 7th, 2064, 9.54am, Field Commandant Day. Field Commandant Dang of the Indo Malay Agricultural Combine arrived with his delegation. Refreshments to be served before the 10 15 a.m. sales presentation on the Charlotte Line or Chariot Line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. Uh, 10 07 a.m. Sander Agnew, Vice President of Terror. Territorial integrity from fresh grounds. Coffee Global Air arrived with his entourage. <coughs> Refreshments to be served for their 10:30 a.m. sales presentation on the Chariot Line. Per instructions, we use fresh grounds Tacoma blend, no artificial artificial creamers. 10:12 a.m. Um, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware that the indo Malay Combine grows coffee beans, and that Fresh Ground's acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant DANG had Agnew by the hair for a second there. <laughs> Who schedules these meetings? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. <laughs> Oh god, so you have two competing companies in the same building who have had bad blood in the past. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <coughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Hey, that's that's our uh, that's our nun. Elizabeth Sobek, born March 11th, 2020. As an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. 
born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13, earning a bachelor's in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon, Mellon, Carnegie Mellon University in 2040 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. <coughs> Over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling fast to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAST, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since, has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Wow. Mum is such an accomplished person. Meanwhile, me, Peachy, I'm just sitting on my ass playing a video game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Theodore Ted Faro, born December 24th, 2013, is an American entrepreneur and business magnate. He is the founder of Faro Automated Solutions, FAS, the largest corporation of all time, the world's wealthiest individual, and the first ever trillionaire. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, he enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it struggled at first, the company breakthrough at the end of the troubled 2030s, with its popular lines of personal server tools and bodyguard bots, then exploded when its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis during the 2040s. Clawback. Well, you heard it here, peeps. We are going to have a rough few decades. <laughs> At the end of that decade, FAS opened a military defense branch, dominating the world market for automated military platforms, by 2053. The success of FAST has made Mr. Faro the world's best known businessman, one of its most sought after speakers, and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. Fun. Faro Automated Solutions is an American multinational corporation entity that produces robots for all walks of life though its core business consists of military and defense contracts. As of 2063, FAS has ranked number one among the Fortune 5 by gross revenue and profit for 10 years in a row, a world record. Founded in 2033 by Theodore Ted Faro, an entrepreneur from Salt Lake City, Utah, the company developed several promising robot prototypes in its early years but failed to break into markets dominated by then industry giants like General Synthetics and Recall. <coughs> this changed in 2038 with the debut of the Alfred line of levitating personal server tools, which generated exceptional sales, lifting the company onto the Fortune 50 for the first time. Profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by famed engineer Elizabeth Sobek, catapulted fast to the head of that sector. In 2049, in the wake of successful green and climate cleanup efforts around the globe, worldwide approval ratings of fast exceeded 90%, and founder Ted Faro was hailed across media and social networks as the man who saved the world. Yet it was the emergence of FAS as a military contractor in the late 2040s that cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation with a record market capitalization of over 23 trillion. Bloody hell! By 2055, FAS controlled 61% of the market share for automated military platforms, holding contracts with 353 nations, trans governmental organizations, and corporate entities 
and corporate entities. Today, its holdings exceed the second largest corporation, FB Mobile Global, by 321%. Holy fuck! Talk about inflation to no end. That's just gonna jump, jump the crank the price up of everything. Being the wealthiest company like that, twenty three trillion. <coughs> oh, that's just the uh, the welcome message for a farce. Okay. Okay, it wants me to go that way, but I kind of want to explore around a bit more. Maybe find some more... Uh, some more lore around here. <laughs> Retooling? Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, and then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? It's all part of the plan, eh, Lloyd? <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. You know, I'll have no doubt this is precisely what the future is going to be like. Humanity is going to meet some sort of end in the uh, slightly distant future. <coughs> the air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. that way, so I'll go this way first. Only I can't go this way. <gasps> Wait, I can! Just a cache. There was nothing over there worthwhile. Complaint. <laughs> Hi, <coughs> Reception. Is that your real name? Wanna know who scheduled Indo Melee right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Wanna know why? After that little hair pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. <laughs> I'll explain, because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting. What do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other. <laughs> so they will try to fight each other with, what? That's right again, combat machines. Which they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Fredkin, to you. <laughs> <laughs> Another 
Wow. But I could get through. Talk about no chill. <laughs> Holy fuck. That is, uh, that is ruthless business right there. <laughs> Although, I have no doubt. Oh, fuck. As I was saying, I have no doubt there's some people in real life who actually have that sort of business mantra. Something over there I could have gone to. And it looks like I am gonna have to go that way. Bloody brilliant. Uh, of course, I can't do that when I'm fucking just. your way through this janky system over to the door. <laughs> how, uh, how soon do you think before Gorilla Games tells me to shut up and just enjoy the game? <laughs> well, fuck you, Gorilla Games. Your game is janky as shit. Spiritual summit. Paula, recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I, and Fast in general, have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon. Very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent. No cooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Ted sounds a bit like uh, Paul Hammond, I think, from Jurassic Park. We shall spare. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> there I go again, pressing circle. To open up a menu that's not part of this game. Let's see here, anything else to read? Yes! Fast campus log. High priority alert. Automated log note. All non-essential systems have entered hibernation. Uh, full lockdown has been initiated. Due to increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of Fast employees can no longer be guaranteed. <laughs> Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. A high-sec and a crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. 